Chapter 52 is called Happily Ever After. But the question you unanswered, I know, is did they live happily ever after? Yes and no. What of Roscuro? Did he live happily ever after? Well, the Princess P gave him free access to the upstairs of the castle, and he was allowed to go back and forth from the darkness of the dungeon to the light of the upstairs. But, alas, he never really belonged in either place. The sad fate, I'm afraid, of those whose hearts break and then mend in crooked ways. But the rat, in seeking forgiveness, did manage to shed some small light, some happiness, into another life. How? Rescuro readers told the princess about the prisoner who had once owned a red tablecloth, and the princess saw to it that the prisoner was released. And Rescuro led the man up out of the dungeon into his daughter, Miggery So. Mig, as you might have guessed, did not get to be a princess, but her father, to atone for what he had done, treated her like one for the rest of his days. And what of Despero? Did he live happily ever after? Well, he did not marry a princess, if that's what you mean by happily ever after. Even in a world as strange as this one, a mouse and a princess cannot marry. But readers, they can be friends. And they were. Together they had many adventures. Those adventures, however, are another story. And this story, I'm afraid, must now draw to a close. But before you leave, readers, imagine this. Imagine an adoring king and a glowing princess, a serving girl with a crown on her head, and a rat with a spoon on his, all gathered around a table in a banquet hall. In the middle of the table, there is a great kettle of soup. Sitting in the place of honor right next to the princess is a very small mouse with big ears. And peeking out from behind a dusty velvet curtain, looking in amazement at the scene before them, are four other mice. Mon Dieu, look, look, says Antoinette. He lives, he lives, and he seems such the happy mouse. Forgiven, whispers, whispers Lester. Cripes, said Furlow, unbelievable. Just so, says the Threadmaster Hovis, smiling, just so. And, readers, it is just so, isn't it? The So did everyone get their happy ending? Just like in the fairy tale? Yep. Oh, there's one more thing at the end of this book. It says, Coda. Do you remember when Despero was in the dungeon, cupped in Gregory the jailer's hand, whispering a story into the old man's ear? I would like it very much if you thought of me as a mouse telling you a story this story, with the whole of my heart whispering it into your ear, in order to save myself from the darkness, and to save you from the darkness too. Stories are light, Gregory the Jailer told Despero. Readers, I hope you have found some light here. That's the very end. How are stories like light? I want you to think about that. Thank you so much uh, for sharing this book with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below and let me know if you think there's another book you'd like me to start reading with you.